Greetings world, I am a Richard. And for today's tarot reading, I got a viewer's request regarding mammograms. Um, the viewer has asked me to uh, do a deep dive into mammograms and could they be as harmful as we could imagine. So without further ado, let's see what the universe has got to share with us regarding mammograms. As of my higher self, oversoul and universe, tell me everything I need to see, everything I need to know regarding mammograms. Are they safe? If they're not safe and harmful, how harmful are they? And what could be the end result of a lifelong cycle of a woman going for mammograms? What can be said? What can be seen? Let's see. Let's rock. Let's roll. All right, guys. So, first in line, we have the Ten of Wands, followed by the Page of Wands. Strength. Second row, we got to the Eight of Swords. Middle heartbeat is the Fool. Could be a trickster. Then we got the Eight, uh, the eight of Swords. Third row, we do have the Three of Cups followed by the Five of Pentacles. Then we have the Chariot. In my clarifying spread, we got the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the Moon. And finally, we have the Ace of Cups. Message of the Universe. So I'm going to grab my golden uh, deck here that is... Uh, com uh, Composed uh, strictly the major arcanas. What is the message of the universe regarding uh, this question about mammograms? Message of the universe. All right, let's see. And I'm going to go and pick uh, this one, which... Okay, so the whole deck was upside down, so I'm not going to count it as upside down. It is the strength card. So, did I get the strength twice? Yes, I got the strength twice in this reading. All right, glasses on. Now let's see what the cards have got to say regarding mammograms. All right, so for this question, okay, the first, uh, the introduction of an answer to the question is the Ten of Wands. Tens are endings in order to have a rebirth, a beginning. This specific character has come to an end of going uphill with this grueling um, stress over his shoulder, the weight of the world over his shoulder, and going uphill. And now he's at the top of the hill and ready to let go of these wands. So regarding mammograms, we're starting off with the ending of mammograms, which is quite um, interesting, I would believe, as a, an opening. Second in row, we got the page of uh, wands. Pages are very youthful. Wands are very fiery, a fiery element, fast moving. Mammograms are, do um, talk about radiation, which is a fire energy. So something is coming to an end, and then we have a slight rebirth looking uphill, dropping the wands uphill. Now that they're dropped, we're looking into a new direction, something in a positive, like high hopes. We're gaining strength with the strength card, which is a major arcana. So... Something about mammograms is coming to an end. It was very grueling. Once these wands are dropped, a new one is picked up. We're looking in high hopes, a new direction, a new journey. There where we gain strength, taming the beast by the mouth. Hmm. Second row. I do have the Eight of Swords. So regarding mammograms, this would be a, a card that would represent self-inflicted mental imprisonment. Uh, swords is an air element, so there's a lot of stress to this card. You are blinded, imprisoned 
but it is very self imprisonment. So could it be that perhaps the whole concept of mammograms from the past to today has kept people uh, like kind of blinded against the actual truth of this radiation, keeping them imprisoned, imprisoned to go through this torture. I'm a man, so I've never had a mammogram, but I have a lot of women in my life. I've always been surrounded by divine feminine. And uh, I do know that uh, I would not want my balls to go through what your breasts go through. That's for damn sure. So this is quite interesting. At the center, the center is always the heartbeat, the palpitation of the spread. I have the fool. The fool has several meanings. It could be the fool's new journey, the beginning. It is the very first card of every single tarot deck out there, regardless to uh, how it looks, right? Like, uh, you know, regardless. It's always the first one. But the fool also could be um, a little bit, do I want to say a trickster? Or it could be, yes, I think I'm going to use trickster. Or not naive, it could have naivety to it. But, uh, I mean, he's, yes, I think I want to say trickster. Trickster, naive, new beginning. So this is at the heartbeat of everything I need to know about mammograms. So again, very similar to the page of wands. We are looking upwards, right, in a due direction. But this with the fool, it's a very, very new. I mean, there's where the naive comes in. The dog is warning him. You can fall off the cliff. You know, you're Bambi wide-eyed, so excited, coming out of uh, you've been birthed. So pay attention to your surroundings. Next in line, I have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is about useless stress. Is it really useless? Or is it more exaggerated stress? You wake up in the wee hours of the morning and you have this like morbid thought in your head and now you can't go to sleep and you're exaggerating, seeing every negative scenario of what your concept is here. But if you manage to fall asleep and then you re-wake up when the sun's up, seven, eight in the morning, you'll go, well, oh, I was kind of exaggerating my... Uh, chaos, my stress, my anxiety earlier this morning. So very interesting. In the now moment regarding mammograms, I had self-inflicted self mental imprisonment, the fool at the center. So new beginnings, a naivety and a trickster. And then we have exaggerated stress. Hmm. In the future, I have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is all about uh, a celebration, a victory, right? We're getting together. Something has been um, uh, won or something new has come, a reason to celebrate. Celebrate about what? The Five of uh, Pentacles. Five of Pentacles touches the subject about being on the uh, abandon on the outskirt, on the outskirt of anything tangible. The DNA, our human vessel, is something that is tangible. So on the outskirt of your DNA, this is about the mammograms. Mammograms would have like kept you on the outskirt, dear beloved divine feminine, making you like banged up, bandaged, feeling hope, homeless, apart, from your body. It's a lot of radiation. Fast moving, coming into action with the chariot. Fastest moving card of the tarot deck. Yes, it talks about duality, but it is really fast moving and it could also have a lot to do with uh, the justice system. He is so fast moving that he could also at times be seen as maybe not really well self-reflected, right? Like he's so excited in his movement that he's just like on the loose, go, get him. 
So a reason to celebrate, what do we celebrate? Something that has put the divine feminine woman on the outskirt of their DNA, their human vessel, right? And it's changing. Something is fast moving. Something is fast moving in order to replace the radiation of mammograms. Or something is probably already there. Like I do know that you can have an echography, which is when you're pregnant. Uh, this is what I'd strongly suggest. I think you got to push it uh, to your doctors. Uh, insist on getting that as opposed to a mammogram. Because for some reason, they always want to flatten your boobs and then like throw all this radiation into the flatness of it. Which, I mean, I think what we know today if we really think about it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I think it would be the same, you ladies let me know, as uh, perhaps putting your boob out on the highway and having like a bulldozer run over it. That's barbaric. In the clarifyings, I do have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a high celebration about all that is tangible, uh, being connected, riches, happy family, prov uh, you lack of nothing. Okay, so this is coming in the clarifying. So why are we celebrating? Why are we in lack of nothing? Because there was lies. The moon is extremely secretive. It could also uh, represent uh, death, like the death card. But here it's about secrets, right? Hidden technologies that could have worked far superior than the barbaric use of uh, the grilled cheese uh, technique of your mammogram. And in the like following this, we have the Ace of Cups, emotional victory. Aces are grants of the universe. And uh, this is talking about emotions, emotions, liquids. So your golden chalice is never empty of the fluid of life. It is always ongoing like a fountain in a park. So we have strong sense of victory about all that is high abundance and or tangible. The DNA, the body is tangible of regarding secrets because something is coming out that's going to bring a lot of emotional victory clarification, healing aspect in my message of the universe from the golden um, major arcanas. I got strength. So that's twice I got strength in the reading. Again, strength is taming the beast by the mouth. High victorious. A lot of victory here. So what are we taming by the mouth, right? I do feel that it is the old system because the first card came up as endings, something extremely um, uh, tiresome or grueling has come to an end. And now we're taming that beast by the mouth. Are we gonna replace it with something else? Let me see, under that is the Hierophant. Okay. Hierophant and a question like this is, for me as a reader, Big Pharma, Kazarian Mafia, governments, the leaders of all things religious, the ones who try to control us, not of the people, of, for the people, but to control the people for themselves. So gaining strength towards these guys. In a question like this, this could go hand in hand with a similar card, which is the devil for me. And it's not always negative. Right? I could talk about marriage. I am a Taurus sign, and this would represent me uh, as a Taurus. So it's not all negative. But again, this kind of question, mammograms, uh, yeah, sponsored by these guys. The devil could go one of the same. All right, so I'm going to take a few more moments because let me see, guys. Do I still have some time left? Uh, I forgot to put my timer on. Oh, okay, here's my timer, 1440. Okay, so I got to do it fast. Is there something that could replace um, 
mammal, uh, the mammograms. Oh, we're at 15 now. Something I can replace mammograms. I'm gonna wrap it up and fast. And the answer is yes. This is the emperor, God creator. So there you go, guys. I hope you like my little video. I love you very much. I am Richard. And I wish you a love-infused, glorious, amazing rock and roll kind of a day. And I'll see you on the next reading. Ow! Cheers. Be well.